In this video, we will be demonstrating the process of doffing a biological suit and pappers used in the treatment of patients with Ebola virus disease. Successful prevention of infectious disease transmission through the correct doffing of PPE is essential in the treatment of patients with Ebola virus disease. In this video, we will walk through the doffing process used by the Nebraska Biocontainment Unit when wearing biological suit and pappers. This process involves the active participation of a doffing partner who should be donned in the same level of PPE as the healthcare worker being doffed. The doffing partner will cue and assist with the doffing process. The doffing process will require the following equipment outside the patient room. A trash receptacle lined with an autoclave bag or biohazard bag, an additional biohazard bag, a box of standard patient care gloves, a box of standard patient care masks, bleach wipes, a doffing pad, essentially a large fluid repellent fabric or plastic drape, an IV pole, a cap for the PAPR air outlet, and hand sanitizing gel. The process begins with a healthcare worker alerting the doffing partner that they are ready to leave the patient care room. The doffing partner should then prepare the doffing space by placing a doffing pad on the floor directly outside the patient room door. Next to the doffing pad, place the lined trash container to allow the healthcare worker and doffing partner to discard used PPE as it is removed. The doffing partner then places an IV pole on the far side of the doffing pad, away from the area the healthcare worker will step onto initially. The IV pole will be used to hold the PAPR unit when it is removed from the healthcare worker. The doffing partner will need hand sanitizer, fresh gloves, bleach wipes, and standard masks for the doffing process. The doffing partner must remove gloves, perform hand hygiene, and apply new gloves anytime they become contaminated during the doffing process. Before exiting the room, the healthcare worker should remove any protective equipment that was donned while providing patient care. This might include a third layer of patient care gloves. Gloves should be removed using glove and glove technique. or an apron. Carefully dispose of these items in the trash. Also, wipe any soiled areas of the biological protective suit or PAPR with bleach wipes. Before opening the door of the patient room, bleach wipe the long cuff purple nitrile gloves and the handle of the door. Dispose of the bleach wipe in the trash before you exit the room. Open the door and step onto the first quarter of the doffing pad. That is the one furthest from the IV pole and closest to the door. You should think of the doffing pad as four separate quarters that you will navigate as you doff your personal protective equipment. Gently remove the tape from the cuffs of the purple gloves. The tape should be placed gently in the trash. With the tape removed, remove the long cuff KC500 purple nitrile gloves using glove and glove technique. Gently place the gloves in the trash. If the inner standard patient care gloves are accidentally removed during the doffing of the nitrile gloves, additional clean gloves should be provided by the doffing partner. Next, the doffing partner will remove the boot covers. For each boot cover, roll the dirty side down and under as you remove them. 
The boot cover should be removed at the heel first and then from the toe, being very mindful of where the dirty side may come in contact with items around you. Once the first boot cover has been removed, gently place it in the trash. When the first boot cover is removed, the healthcare worker should place that foot into the clean quarter, number two, of the docking pad on the half of the docking pad closest to the patient room door and the IV pole. The docking partner will then remove the second boot cover, rolling the dirty side downwards, being very mindful of where the dirty side may come in contact with items around you. Then move the second foot into the second quarter of the docking pad. Once removed, the second boot cover is placed gently in the trash. Before the next step, the docking partner must remove their outer patient care gloves, placing them gently in the trash. Disinfect the purple long cuff gloves and re-glove. The docking partner should carefully move the trash can around the edge of the docking pad so that it is closer to the new position of the healthcare worker. The next item to be removed is the PAPR motor. It should remain switched on during this process. The healthcare worker will unbuckle the belt and then the docking partner will carefully move the PAPR unit away from the suit. This maneuver requires a joint effort by the healthcare worker and the docking partner to maintain control of the PAPR motor and tubing. The PAPR unit should be hung over the IV pole, not on an individual hook, at eye level. The docking partner will then wipe the PAPR tubing, battery pack, and belt with bleach wipes. The bleach wipes can then be disposed of in the trash. Before the next step, the doffing partner must remove their outer patient care gloves, placing them gently in the trash. Disinfect the purple long cuff gloves and re-glove. The doffing partner should now roll up the outer layer of the hood being careful to touch only the underside of the shroud where it is cleaner. If the zipper flap has been sealed with tape, the doffing partner should carefully remove that first. Once removed, the tape should be gently placed in the trash. The doffing partner can now open the zipper flap and lower the zipper. The doffing partner will begin the removal of the biological protective suit, starting at the neck and rolling the suit outwards and away from the body. Once the outer shoulders are reached, continue to remove the suit by rolling down towards the doffing pad. Carry on rolling the suit downwards until the angles are reached. When the suit has been rolled all the way down, carefully step out and onto the clean half of the docking pad into quarter number three. Remember that you are still connected to the IV pole by the PAPR tubing. The doffing partner will carefully gather up the suit and place it gently in the trash. The healthcare worker and doffing partner should now remove their gloves using glove and glove technique. Place the gloves gently in the trash. 
Both should then perform hand hygiene and re-glove. Before removing the hood, the doffing partner will first attend to the papper by shutting off the motor. Disconnecting the tubing from the motor and capping the air outflow immediately with a clean filter cap. Once disconnected, the doffing partner maintains control of the tubing as the healthcare worker removes the hood and tubing in one slow and controlled motion. The doffing partner should be careful not to allow the tubing to touch the scrubs or any exposed part of the healthcare worker who is being doffed. The hood is removed in a gentle up and forward motion. All parts will be placed gently in the trash. If the healthcare worker is wearing a surgical cap, it should be removed next. Use a clean pair of gloves and remove it with a gentle up and forward motion and place it in the trash. Both the healthcare worker and the doffing partner should remove their gloves using glove and glove technique. The gloves should be placed gently in the trash. Then the healthcare worker and the doffing partner perform hand hygiene and re-glove The healthcare worker will apply a patient care mask for respiratory protection. The final piece of PPE to be removed are the boot liners. The doffing partner should roll the liner downwards, guiding it gently over the heel and then the toe. Once the first boot liner has been removed, the healthcare worker should step to the fourth clean quarter of the doffing pad. Gently place the boot liner in the trash. The doffing partner can then remove the second boot liner. The liner should be rolled downwards and removed at the heel first and then from the toe. With the second boot liner removed, the healthcare worker should place their other foot into the clean quarter of the doffing pad. The second boot liner can then be placed gently in the trash. The doffing partner will remove patient care gloves using glove and glove technique. The gloves are disposed of by gently placing them in the trash. The doffing partner then performs hand hygiene and applies a clean pair of gloves. The doffing partner will then clean the first of the healthcare worker's plastic footwear with a bleach wipe, starting with the top and then the bottom. The healthcare worker can then place their clean foot on the floor outside the doffing pad. The doffing partner will then clean the other foot using the same technique. The healthcare worker can then step from the doffing pad onto the floor with their second foot. The healthcare worker should then proceed to the sink to wash their hands. After hand washing, the healthcare worker should apply a new pair of gloves. The healthcare worker should then proceed to the shower. If the shower is currently occupied, the healthcare worker should sit in the designated waiting area until the shower becomes available. The gloves and patient care mask will reduce any inadvertent hand to face actions. After the healthcare worker has showered, they shall take their temperature and rehydrate. The reusable component, the PAPR motor, will be placed in a biohazard bag with the filters and caps in place. When the doffing partner has completed the cleanup of the doffing area, they will store the bag in the dirty utility room 
or designated area for later systematic cleaning. The bag should be left open to allow for airflow. The doffing partner can now roll the doffing pad into a ball, making sure the soiled surfaces face inwards. The doffing partner should place the rolled doffing pad gently into the trash. The doffing partner then wipes any contaminated surfaces, such as the walls, the door, the floor area, the IV pole with bleach wipes and reset as necessary for the next doffing event. All processes are done with the performance of hand hygiene and re-gloving as needed by the healthcare worker and the doffing partner.